Okay, we have an artist shops online for tubes of watercolor paint. Okay, so the cost is six dollars, sixteen dollars for each fourteen milliliter tube. Okay, so let's let X be the number of tubes of paint, and I want to write a function that gives the cost of tubes of paint. Okay, so let's see here. So C of X is basically just sixteen dollars times the number of tubes, and that's it. Then it says there's a 5.5% sales tax on the cost of merchandise and a fixed cost of $4.99 for shopping, for shipping. <clears throat> okay, write a function representing the total cost, uh, T of A, for A dollars spent in merchandise. Okay, so we'll have T of A is equal to, okay, so we're, it's a 5.5% sales tax. So, um, so that's 105.5 that we have to, to spend because we already have bought the thing. So we'll say 1.055 A <clears throat> plus we also need to pay our fixed cost of 4.99. Okay. <coughs> All right. Gotcha. Um, now there's my function. Okay, then I want to do t composed with c of x. Okay, so t composed with c of x. All right, so t composed with c of x. x um, <clears throat> would be equal to t of c of x. And so what I want to do is I want to do t of, and what's c of x? It's 16x. And so that would be, I'm going to take that 16x here, and I'm going to plug it in for the input of the function t. So I'm going to do 1.055 times 16x, and then plus 499. Now what's the meaning of that? Well, what that is is the input now, x, is the number of tubes of paint. And then t is my um, total cost. So this is the total cost. For for buying x tubes of paint. Okay. And uh, that makes sense because what do I do? I take the number of tubes of paint and multiply by $16 per item. Then I multiply on the tax and then I add the shipping. And so that's what's happening here. So I take the tubes of paint times 16 and I multiply by the tax and then I add the shipping on there. Okay, then I want to evaluate T of C of 18. T composed with C of 18. And so I can just plug it into the function 1.055. Then I have 16 times 18 plus 499. And so I can compute that in my calculator. 1.055 times 16 times 18 plus 499. And I get 308. 83. And the units for that is dollars.